Uh, talk about Shroom. All right, yeah, we we can talk about Shroom. Um, that can be like our our first real talk from uh, Smash and Splash. Um, like, I'm honestly not the most shocked person about Shroom. Uh, doing pretty good against my Peach. Uh, I've actually played against Shroom a lot when I've been in the NorCal. I uh, went to like uh, SFAT's place uh, quite a few times. I went to uh, Duan's place uh, before Genesis. And we normally go roughly 50 50 in Peach Cheek. Like, if I count like our last 3 4 sessions in that matchup, I'll probably say it's like 55 45. Uh, my favor. Arrogant Commander, thank you for the resub. Uh, two months. So, yeah, like. Let's say it's 55 45, it's something around these numbers. So, him being up 2 1 is not the most shocking thing. I actually consider going Fox in game 1 already, um, but I decided to go Peach since I. My Peach normally, like, wins these kinds of sets. Uh, but this time around, Troon played hella good against me. Uh, and it was up 2-1. My Fox historically, like, I know it's friendlies, but, like, my Fox normally kinda shits on his cheek. Uh, so when I was down 2-1, I was like, alright. Uh, I know I can bring it back with Peach, but at this point, it's clearly the superior option to go for Fox. The only risky thing was that my Fox wasn't warmed up, like, at all. So I was kinda afraid of how my Fox would play. Uh, which is partly why I decided to go for Stadium because it's a wide stage, it's good for Fox and I have platforms that I can like go back to uh, if I feel like my movement is very bad and like over time try to get you know better and better movement so I play the Sheik matchup very differently with Fox compared to how I normally play it uh, but still I managed to clutch out game 4 and in game 5 I was actually pretty sure he was gonna go Mark because as I said, like Peach Sheik would normally go like roughly even uh, in friendlies. In Fox Sheik, I normally beat him very convincingly, and in Mar Fox, we normally go pretty even as well. Uh, so I was like 100% expecting the Mar. And the thing is also, I counterpicked FD in Game Three, partly to have Marf FD not being a possibility for Game Five in case I lost. So yeah, picking FD Game Three was. Partly like Peach is like alright on that stage against Sheik, but it was partly like if I lose, then I know that the Marv is a, like a very high chance to come out in a game 5 scenario, and then I don't want him to have FD. I actually don't even feel that bad on that stage normally with Fox, um, but I was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much how it went down, um, but yeah, then he decided to stick with Sheik in game 5 and after the set he told me uh, that he felt like his Sheik was playing really good and he was confident with Sheik for game 5 uh, but afterwards he was like, yeah, maybe I should have played Marth but it's, al it's always easy to be like, you know, like, oh, I should have done this, I should have done this If I lost with Fox People would have said, oh, you should have been sticking with Peach. But now I won with Fox, so now people are like, yeah, that was the right call. But like, beforehand, it can be very hard sometimes. Alex, yeah, I don't think uh, Fox, Marf, and FD is nearly as bad as people say, but I do believe it's uh, Marf's clearly best stage. So, yes, I would say that what you said about me saying Marf on FD is not like as broken as people say. Yes, I do agree with that statement. Uh, but I would still say it's the one stage where I do believe Fox do lose uh, to Mark. Uh, how is Shroom so good versus Peach? Uh, he did play against quite a few Peach players uh, when he uh, started playing melee, like uh, Alan, for example. And they also teamed for uh, a long time as well. So, it's kind of like how, how I played against uh, Android and Neolas for a long time. He played with Alan, 